Well, it's time to get you some of this. 30 teams in 30 days making a stop in Midtown Mobile today. The Murphy Panthers are the fat cats tonight, and that is pun intended. Hi there, everyone. I'm Fox 10 Sports anchor Simone Eli. It's five down and 25 to go in my 30 teams in 30 days spring football special. Now, when you mention Murphy, you probably think a big school with a winning tradition. And you're right. Murphy is in the biggest classification in the state, and the Panthers haven't had a losing record since 03. Now, recently, I sat down with quarterback to priest Trey Turner, defensive lineman Dominique Chambers, and new head coach Rick Colley to talk about spring practice expectations. Here's my conversation with the gold and blue as 30 teams in 30 days rolls on. <laughs> Coach Ron Lee leaves Murphy for the first time in what seems like forever. What's it like to have to take over for him? Well, you know, Coach Lee did a lot for me, and uh, I kind of like, definitely look up to him. And uh, he's one of the guys that taught me how to be. When I first started, I was uh, loudmouth. I knew it all, and I wasn't afraid to tell people. And the one thing I learned from him was just to be quiet and listen. What's it like going into your senior season with a new head coach after the legend leaves Murphy? Coach, me and Coach Lee, we was we were very tight, you know. Uh, Coach Kyle, he was a good man. Me and Coach Kyle, we were built a, a great friendship. When I see him, hey, Coach, I'm excited to see him. Whenever I see him, it's just like a good friend to me. With Coach Kyle, I'm becoming a better player in the weight room and just ready to step out in the field and see what I have to offer. I love him. I mean, he's a great guy. I mean, he's been an offensive coordinator since I've been there. So, I mean, I love the way he, he plays. He's fast, fast tempo. I love it. So, he, he expects a lot, but he's a good coach. How important is it to bring your team together during this spring so that, you know, come preseason and fall, you guys are already meshing, that things are going well? Being individuals, we can't, we can't do nothing. Being, being our own person, we have to be one unit, so together we can beat the other teams and get past them. How important are these 10 practices, uh, including your game, just to prepare for the preseason and then eventually fall? Um, it's very important because you get to see, you know, where you're at, um, the kind of the players you have. Um, I think that you know, each practice it matters, um, especially going to the spring game. So I'm excited about it. See all the different talent because a lot of guys we got playing this year, you know, didn't play last year. So it's always exciting to see, you know, what kind of talent you have this year. It's exciting. Uh, it's not uh, too, the football part's the easy part of the job to me. The athletic director, the day-to-day, -day, that's the, the more difficult thing for me. But uh, the football, I'm kind of used to doing that. So that's where I'm comfortable, and I can't wait to get on a football field. Let me take you back to last season. I was on the sidelines at Ladd when McGill literally destroyed you guys. I mean, the game was over after the first quarter. I mean, what's that feeling like? That cannot be good, and going into your senior season, you got to turn that around, right? One thing about Murphy, we don't we don't never quit, so we can't just, when the ball is not in our favor, just keep our head down low, just have to keep playing to the so the clock goes off. Say we're underdogs, and being the underdogs, you're always going to be scrappy. So I feel like we are underdogs this year because of last year, but we left last year in the past. So we're going to start with a new era, new head coach. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we don't talk about last year anymore. We kind of uh, put that away. You know, you don't read a book twice. So, you know, that one's done, so we're going to move on. <laughs> you know, I, I would like to be considered one of the better teams, and you're not going to get that by playing subpar. All right, well, here's how Murphy finished last season. They were 6-5. and five. They got hammered in the first round of the playoffs. Not much difference there in points four and points allowed, which is never a good thing. Now, as I said earlier, Murphy is usually good for making the playoffs, only missing out once in the last 10 years. But check out what's happened in Murphy's last nine games against arch rival McGill Tulin, just two and seven. And I know this is a long way off, but still worth mentioning. Look at the Panthers' schedule come October. Their last five games of the year are tough region games. That stretch includes two road trips into Baldwin County. County. All right, tomorrow night at 9, the spotlight shines on Davidson. The Warriors missed the playoffs last year for the first time since 07. So head coach Fred Riley and the boys looking to bring back glory to Pleasant Valley Road. And of course, guys, 
Nothing gets me more pumped up than high school football. And I'm well, sure well, I'm I remember when Murphy came in here. I mean, they had a sense of intensity that a lot of the, I mean, they were like on it, yes. man. I mean, I put a helmet on because I they were see. so intense. I see. That was the first time so, we saw you break out the yeah, headgear. Yeah, it definitely was. They play with their heart. They really do. And that's, that's one thing that they have in Midtown. You know what? I'm believing in it. Coach Cully, I think he can turn it around. Looking forward to seeing how they can do. Mm. And the draft is coming up. The NFL draft. Oh, yeah. We'll that's be talking all about that. Alabama and Auburn. Wow. Be right back.